Uh, Michael Miller is an artist that I've been working with uh, probably about 20 years and um, represent his work. And um, this show at the Mac came about, uh, we were talking about doing some, well, some sort of teacher, student shows. I think one of the strengths of looking through this exhibition and looking at the work that our alumni have produced is that Michael helped them, you know, find their individual voice and help them to, you know, get started on their path to maturity as artists. The education that he gave me and my peers was, it, it was like we were at an Ivy League school. In fact, some Ivy League programs don't have professors of his quality. It was like really amazing. Before I entered into his classes, I was afraid to really do what I wanted. I, I was approaching, you know, a blank canvas with like these expectations of what, you know, I thought people wanted to see and he told me to just to just go for it that there was there was no shame in making any mistakes that no one was going to no one was going to judge me or think that I was a weirdo for making what I wanted to make if it's if it's a word it emboldened me it, it, it made me confident it's was, it was a good feeling I think the, the main thing was just how to be honest about what I was making and what I was uh, looking at and one thing I always like to point out to students and in, in critique setting is that you know, this is a very closed environment here in the university. It's much easier to listen to criticism here than it ever will be again. It's a lot easier listening to criticism in a painting critique than it is to listen to criticism on the front page of the Dallas Morning News. I think that this proves it very well that students are well prepared for careers in the arts by the time they get out of our university.